What's the best settings? Uh, the best settings in any modern skateboarding game, like, it's gonna sound kind of corny, but it's, it's probably the truth. It's whatever settings makes you have the most fun playing the game. It adds the most replayability to you to want to come back and play more. Um, that could be somebody else's settings, it could be your own settings, it could be easy settings, it could be hard settings, whatever one fits the bill for you, really. Um, I'm kind of under the impression that, I don't know, with this game having a stat menu built in, that the best settings will probably, you know, kind of change over time. Some days I might be feeling like going slower, some days I'll go faster just by increasing it. My settings that I'm using right now, they're basically just default. Just default, um... The only thing I really changed was I turned off... If you guys are having a problem with grinds, this is one thing that would help you a ton with grinds. Turn off trick relative input. I, I, I personally don't like this. Essentially what trick relative input does... So if I did a backside tail slide, right? If it's turned if it's turned on, if I did a back tail, I would I would ollie, press left on the right stick, and in order to ollie out of this now, with the relative input turned on, I would have to press left on the right on, on the left stick. Like my left my left foot. Because my, my nose is facing towards the right side now. So the trick is relative to the positioning of the board. So when I, you know. Go, go down on the stick to pop and up on the right stick, the left stick to pop, I would now have to press right on the left stick to pop out of that, which I don't really like that, so I turn it off. So in, in, with it turned off, you just press forward on the, on the left stick. Same way that you did to pop into it. So down on the right stick, up on left stick, up on left stick to pop out. Makes it easier. That's one setting that I changed. If we stream this for the next cell now, uh, for the next little while I will be. Not sure how long, but I have a, a couple other games in the pipeline I want to get into. I've been really into World of Warcraft lately, so I'll probably be streaming a lot of that next week. Let's read through my comments in my video here. Whoop! See people are thinking of the game. A like on a good video, thanks, man. This is a lot harder than I thought it would be. I thought they're gonna fix the animations. Game is too wonky for me. To everyone saying session is bad, just have a dial sitting on top of understanding how the game works. It's not for me. Well, duh, it's its own game. Definitely mall that character after Milkman. It's pretty crazy how the character looks like me. What's constant you play this? This is on PC. I'll be making a PS5 video soon. Love session, beautiful game, not for everyone. I'm hyped. Can't wait to give session a try. Session just doesn't do it for me. The animations and tricks just feel too robotic and stiff. They all look and feel relatively the same. Not a fan of controls either. Skater Souls gameplay and mods and sessions, dev team, stream mode would be the perfect game. This is a, like one of the highest comments on my channel. I was expecting something, yeah. Uh, ex expect expectations ruins a lot of games for people. You can't can't go into games expecting too much. I'm still having fun playing it. Map looks huge. You can actually skate the entire map, or only warp certain spots. You could do both, right? Didn't try out new transition. I gave it a shot, but couldn't quite figure it out, so I had to leave it out of this video. I'll be doing any more vids, and I'll go over these in the next one. Next video. Controls for riding Switch don't seem intuitive at all. Skeptical controls make much, much more sense. This is the problem. He wouldn't. He probably wouldn't say that if he didn't play Skater Soul first. Um, you gotta, you gotta drop the, the mentality of Excel and skate just to play and enjoy this how it's supposed to be played. You know, both make sense to me. Skeptical controls are perfect. Hopefully, they change the pushing animations. Thought it was well known the animations are still being worked on. Um, it's well known, 
but in the grand scheme of things, most people aren't online all the time like we are, so they don't actually know much. Uh, most the general public, when they get a release of a game, 1.0, they're expecting everything to be there on day one. That's kind of how it, people just think, but most games these days get many updates past the post-release or the release days, so... How's the update? It's pretty good. It's pretty good. I was re I'm reading through comments of my video I posted today to see what the the general consensus is. Keep in mind though, most of my viewers are from Skater XL, so they're they're pretty biased. Switched to session from XL a couple weeks ago. Got to say, it's it's more painful to get used to. And nail tricks with fully hardcore settings. I really love the base game way more than XL. I always. I will have a soft spot for XL, particularly because of the modding community doing so much for free. But I really like the way creatures handling the handling session, yeah. Hell yes, brother. Personally, I think Skater XL feels better, but I'm happy to support the game because it seems like the devs really care about longevity. I like that. Playing for the first time today, super hard getting out of Skater XL mode. Exactly. Landed a few bit of tricks, gonna take a while to get used to, but impressed so far. Nice. Nice. XL controls are for simple compared to sessions. Well, if you think about it, Skater XL controls is only half of session controls. Like, just take take regular and nollie and apply that to fakie and switch. It's just like, it's the regular and nollie controls in session, but added to to Fakey and Switch, so it just... It's half of session controls. Yo. If you say hi or yo, my channel, I'll, I'll say yo back. Yo. Yo! Yo! It's pretty crazy. I posted this, like, two hours ago and has 64 comments. That's, that's a lot. Of comments. It's gonna have a couple hundred comments. People are talking about it. Yo, Teo, thanks for the tier one in 20, 28 years. Thank you so much, man. Yo, Nickel Skates, what up, man? What's happening? Oh, yeah, guys, by the way, Twitch might be getting rid of Amazon Prime. So if you guys could do me a favor, check. Check to see if you have an Amazon Prime right now to subscribe to your favorite streamer, which hopefully is me. Just make sure you, you don't have that. Use on use on somebody, not just me. Bye, guys. Later. Have a good night.